Are you a portrait photographer who hates retouching? The amount of time it takes to edit one photo is crazy. If you're someone like me who would sometimes take up to 30 minutes to retouch one photo, chances are you are looking for a better solution. Well, what if in this video I can show you a powerful AI software that can retouch your portraits, your headshots, and that can batch edit your photos for you. And that will give you a high quality professional looking photos as if it was retouched by a pro. I am talking about this new editing software Evoto AI. Evoto AI is a super powerful photo editing software that uses AI to insanely speed up your editing workflow. It's packed with a ton of amazing features such as skin defects removal, backdrop changer, eye brightness, clean backdrop, and we're gonna go over these features very soon, so don't worry, so stick around. You can save your retouch presets and then sync them to all the photos that you're going to retouch. This is going to save so much time for the working pros out there. I remember when I had a deadline to meet, I had to retouch about like 20 to 30 images for the client, but the model skin was not all that good and I had to edit them one by one. And each photo took anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. And for 20 to 30 photos, it adds up. It takes up a lot of time. Needless to say, I had to cut corners on some of the photos. It turned out to be good enough for me. However, I wish I had a software like this back then. It would have saved me so much headache and saved me more time so I can focus on other things. But rather than tell you, I'm just going to show you what I mean. So why don't we go ahead and get started with the skin retouching using Avoto's recommended retouching uh, preset which you can find right here so right now it's at none and this is what it's starting with and as you can see here this is Sophia and what you can see here there's a lot of blemishes and uh, she has some dark circles and uh, acne and blemishes everywhere right click natural if you want to see the before and after here it is this is the this is the after this is the before after before so you can see all the blemishes and the acne is gone and then they removed her dark circles and her eye bags as well. And this is natural two. This is the before and this is after. I used to do this manually and it took me so much time. This is freaking insane, man. Oh my God. Oh crap. And then let's go to high end. Let's see how that worked. You can see it got rid of all the spots on her face. Before, after, before, after. Got rid of the eye bags again. Got rid of all this right here. Boom, that's insane. The photos AI software already knows that detected that this photo is a female. You can see the tabs that they have going on for you to retouch, right? This is the blemish. So it got rid of the freckles and the acne, which you already saw. We put it down to zero. You can see that all the blemishes and all the acne came back. And then eye wrinkles, put it all the way to the top. So this is before and then when we go all the way to the top when we max it out it's there and then this is the before and this is the after and it just cleans up that eye wrinkle and also the smile line it actually does show your age when you see smile lines depending on what you're doing could be a good thing or could be a bad thing sometimes some retouchers would like to see the smile lines it depends on who you are and you can see this is at zero the smile line came back and then when we press redo the smile line disappears. You don't want to push it all the way to the max because then it could look heavy handed. The way I'm using this is just to make it look natural as possible. We can see more of her acne on her face at skin day, but it's okay because we got a photo. Let's click on the high end one to see what that looks like. And boom, look how quick that was. Holy crap, it cleaned, it cleaned her up so quickly. My goodness, that was great. <laughs> When I work on a photo like this, this would be like the worst case scenario for me. Look at the look at the preset for the high end high end photos. It just got rid of everything, got rid of the dark circles, got rid of the blemishes. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. You can go down to skin retouching and then just go dodge and burn. Let's see what this slider does. So it just dodges and burns the face some more and then it keeps keeps the details of the face. It does a really great job at evening out the skin with this dodging and burning. Once you put it to 100, you can see how like, how plasticky she looks. And then rosy complexion, if you want the skin to look a little bit more, has a little bit more warmth. There are skin tones out there that looks really, really pale. So you just want to make them look warm and healthy. You don't want to go 100 because then they look like a cherry tomato. So I would say for this one, maybe this, is good. There's unified body complexion. So this is to maintain a uniform skin complexion throughout the entire body. A Voto has a thing called eye brightness. And what it does is it, it brightens up your eyes. Let's go to 100. Let's go to zero. 
that's zero, no brightness. And then once you uh, boost it up to 100, you can see a difference that, you know, it just made the eyes a little bit brighter. So there's a little bit of sparkle in their eyes. I don't want this to look too heavy handed. So I'm just gonna dial it back, maybe to 50. That looks good to me. We'll, we'll keep it at 50. There's also makeup. Now this is interesting because a part of dodging and burning is also to contour the model's face. That's what dodging and burning really is. This is at zero and this is at 100. So it's darkening up the areas to sculpt the face. Uh, sometimes when people do face retouching, they don't uh, sculpt the face and it just, the face looks a little bit flat. With contouring and highlighting and the makeup, what you're doing is you're sculpting the face and you're making it look more 3D like. And this is how uh, you bring the retouching to life. We're gonna contour her up a little bit. Yeah, give her face some depth. And I think 60 looks good. I think that looks good. Her face has a little bit of depth. Look, zero, 60, which is great. You can add <laughs> eyeshadow to her face if you want, which is crazy, man. Like we don't need to touch that if we don't want to. And let's see what else. And then you can make her lips red. I think that looks good. That's just crazy. And we look at the before and after, before after before after and then we also have these like makeup presets right here you know we can go to eyebrows and then change the shape of her eyebrows i don't usually touch this but you see what it looks like sometimes it's to fill up the eyebrows sometimes it's to make it more make it thicker sometimes it's even to like change the arch of the eyebrows or change the shape of the eyebrows and then the eyelashes you can add in more eyelashes this is at none more eyelashes like what that's crazy changing the eyelashes right here man oh man and then contacts so i would try to find the color of the contacts that fit the models the most and then i would just dial it back so that the iris has a little bit of sheen and has a little bit of life into her so i think with her she has brown eyes so what i would do is i would just dial it back dial it back to taste and I think that looks good for me. It just gives it a subtle pop. So if you're gonna use this, I recommend just finding the eye color of the model and then just dialing it back so that the iris can shine. And then we got more stuff like blush. If you wanna apply a blush. Now this is a little bit too advanced for me, but oh look, it adds a little bit more contouring to her face, which is pretty dope. This is none. This is a little bit of contouring and blush, which I freaking dig. And we're gonna name this Sophia Preset because her name is Sophia. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this to all the photos that I've done with her. Let's go in here. Let's see, preset, apply Sophia preset. Boom, before, after, before, after. And then these ones as well, there's four of them. I'm gonna just gonna go through them real quick and then go Sophia preset. And then, oh, we can sync them. Let's sync all of them, save. And then you can see a photo is processing it and it's done. Oh wow, that was quick. Look how, look how quick that was, holy crap. Again, before, after, before, after. That's freaking amazing. Look how quick that was, holy crap, man. Before, after, before, after. And this one, before, after, before, after. Wow, let's see this one. It's processing after, before, after, before, after. This is so freaking quick, man. Holy crap. Four highly retouched photos like this would take me an hour, but they just did it in like a few seconds. That's insane. <laughs> wow. I'm going to edit this photo. This is taken in a studio shot, so we have a different setting. And then I'm going to go to natural O2. Let's see how that looks. And boom, before, after. Before, after, it got rid of the nose ring right here. So what I have to do is come back here. So we're gonna erase that and get back her nose ring. Okay, there we go. With the blemish removal, sometimes it can't detect nose rings. It thinks that it's a blemish. So what you have to do is go in and manually select that and just erase that out. Look at that retouching skill. Something like this takes me quite some time to do it, and it did it with just a natural preset. <laughs> this is crazy, like, holy crap. So we're gonna go into makeup, and we're going to go into contacts. So her eyes is a little bit brown, so we're gonna use this. This looks too much and too fake. We're gonna use my method of just dialing it back, get it back 
to where you think it looks natural and just gives it a little bit of pop. And I think that looks good right there. It just gives her eyes more life. This is none and this is with it on. It looks like it's been done by a pro, like, and it did it in a matter of seconds. Like what? That's freaking crazy, man. And I wanna show you about the facial reshape, right? This is where you can come in and change the size of the head, the face, the nose. I would use this sparingly. Otherwise you'll change the way they completely look and you don't want that. Face smaller and the AI does a pretty good job at keeping things look balanced. And I think that looks pretty good. You can change the temples inwards outwards but i'm not going to do anything with that cheekbones left right left right or even jaw jawline and small faces <laughs> now i keep this as is i don't need to do anything trim faces to face width like and the chin height you can <laughs> move the chin head around and the hairline you can go into eyebrows and you know change the thickness of it that's crazy man holy crap or change the distance of it. Like what? She's thinking, she's confused. She's thinking, she's confused. <laughs> but for me, I like to keep things natural as much as I can. And after that, I just wanna show you the men's because the Evoto just picked up on that, on this picture, this, this is a man in the shot. Let's see what it can do. I think I like this better. I like the natural too. So before, after, before, after. So you can see that before, after. So yeah, it got rid of some dark circles here, some red uh, blemishes, um, and then it touched up a few other areas uh, and just balanced out the face. And I think Gabrielle looks pretty good right now. Look at that. Now I wanna show you my friend Jake. For him, we're gonna do the high-end retouching. He has a lot of uh, dark areas, dark circles, smile lines, eye bags, all that. So let's see what the high-end retouching can do on men. Look how quick that was, holy crap. Holy crap, man. They made Jake look so freaking good. Oh my God, look at that. That's freaking amazing. They got rid of some wrinkles. They got rid of all the blemishes and he still retained all of the details on his face. That's freaking amazing. Now with this, you can fix the nose if you want. Make it bigger, make it smaller. Whatever your heart's desire, just keep it natural. Can you imagine yourself having thousands of like, wedding photos to go through. Imagine how quick that would be and imagine how much time you would save behind the computer by using a Voto. And again, I wish I had this a few years back. This would have saved me so much headache and stress and time. I just remember by the end of like the 20th picture or the like the 30th picture that I've retouched, I started to hate the retouching. <laughs> I'm just laughing because it's I'm like super excited. This is a genuine display of emotions and feelings that I am showing right now. It's freaking crazy. Now I chose this shot because there are times where you're not going to have the cleanest studio walls. And I was working with this client right here and this uh, company wanted corporate headshots for their employees. The thing about these painters are that they're all scattered throughout different job sites and we could not get them in a proper studio all at the same time. So what I had to do was to go on the job site and go to a white wall and just take an impromptu headshot. Right here, it says oyster white with the color right here that, you know, it's gonna be painted over. And then you can see like, you know, the paint roller marks right here. And then you can see the smudge right here and more paint roller marks right here. I wanna show you this backdrop cleaner that Evoto has right here. Where is it? It's the toggle right here, a clean, solid backdrop. You go here and then it's done. <laughs> it's freaking done. You put on 100 and then it cleans out everything. So before, this is the before and this is the after. It got rid of the sand, it got rid of the paint rollers, and it got rid of all this um, paint roller marks right here. And it just made it so freaking clean. Look at that. Look how fast that was, oh my goodness. <laughs> and I wanna do another one. So this is what it looks like before. Uh, this is a white uh, sheet uh, covering a wall. It looks pretty distracting to me, I'm not gonna lie. And usually, with fabrics, there's usually wrinkles involved, right? So what I would do again is to go in and manually do this. And that takes up a lot of time, a lot of time that I don't want to spend. So how do we do this? We, we, we can do a clean solid backdrop and then it's gone. It's gone. She has a white wall and then there are some wrinkles here, but that's okay because it's a lot better than this. 
it cleaned up a lot and I think this is such a powerful tool to have if you are someone that shoots in a studio a lot the backdrops of the studios aren't always the cleanest you see like shoe marks you should see scuff marks from like the light stand you see scuff marks from the shoes this will help clean it up and this will do all the heavy lifting for you so that you don't have to spend so much time cleaning that crap up. Is I wanna show you a few more things that I would do with a few more photos. What I wanna do is uh, I wanna fix oily face right here. So there's a little bit of sheen right here. We can fix that with just this slider right here. And you can see that it's gone. Most of it's gone. You can go 100 and then the sheen is gone. So if you ever find yourself looking into uh, changing the background, you just want to change it from like this boring white wall, make it transparent again. You have a good cutout to send to your designer. And then you can also change the backdrop again, change it to whatever ones you want. I think brown looks good for this type of scenario. I'm going to go brown. I What I want to do is since I have like four photos, I'm going to change Command C for this and then just select the two and then press Command V. And then you're gonna see it change the backdrop and it did, and then it retouched her face like so quick. You're gonna see a process to retouch before, after, before, after. Wow, that was quick. Before, after, before, after. And then you're gonna go in and then you're just going to batch edit all of them, select all, and then press Command V. This is gonna apply to all the photos. And you can see here, you can see at the bottom here that it changed all the background in just a matter of a few seconds. Boom, done. Now, Voto did all the heavy lifting for you guys. It's just crazy how quick they did it in. I say that this software is more for the working pros out there. Someone that needs a quick turnaround time that needs to meet a deadline. Someone like wedding photographers with the crazy amount of photos to go through. People who take corporate headshots, commercial photographers and all that. And Voto has a pricing scheme where they only charge per export. One credit equals one export. So you need to buy credits. You won't be charged again for a duplicate export after you make the changes. Again, each photo works out to be like seven cents per photo. So if you know that you're gonna be doing a lot of batch retouching, a photo could save you so much time and it could be a good investment for you. With all that free time that you have, you can take on more gigs to make more money. If you are interested in a photo, go ahead and download their free trial to see if this is the right software for you. And if you are serious about it, go ahead and use the links down in the description below to get an extra 30 credits from Evoto. All right, that's enough for me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.